All right, welcome to our spelling netcast. Make sure that you are ready with your zip top bag, your scissors for cutting out words, a beautiful um, glue stick, and I noticed some of you have not haven't been having a sharp pencil. Please make sure your pencil is sharp enough to write nice and neat. Ouch, I got an owie this last week. All right, and don't forget your spelling book and, of course, spelling words. All right, so hopefully you have already cut out your words like I have. So, I, actually I'm hoping you have that done before we ever got this started. But what I'm going to take, you'll notice that I crinkled it up. I must have just thrown it away. Actually, I did. And so, what I'm going to do is I took it out of the trash, and I'm now going to glue it right there. So what we're going to be talking about tonight is Latin roots, press, per, purge, fuss, or fuse, and pend. So, now that I've got my words, you know, when I'm completely finished with my words, you know I'm going to put them right in my zip top bag and stick them on the refrigerator in my backpack somewhere where you know that you can get them again and again and again. All right, there they are, except for the ones I'm going to show you tonight. So, what we're going to talk about today is, let's put this out here, and you notice how I don't cut it, because I'm going to put these out, and I'm going to write some things above it, so make sure that you leave a space. we got penned, underline, fuse, underline, per or purge, underline, and press, underline. All right, now I can take these and I can cut these up because tomorrow night you're going to need to do a little sorting with that. So make sure you have those all together, ready to go. And I'm going to stick these in my zip tie bag so I've got them for later. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> now you'll notice that these, and you've heard words that use press, purge, per, fuse, or pen. I'm almost positive you've heard some of these because these root words, these Latin root words, are known. There's a lot of these that you have heard and you have known um, in your reading, um, just in your speaking, those kind of things. But we're going to find out what they actually mean today. So, let's understand and let's find out what happens here. So, we're going to start... Let's start with fuse right there, all right? Fuse means to pour, to pour, as in pouring something like a drink. And so we're going to do transfusion, and so that's interesting. So let's write that out, Trans. Fusion, F-U-S, so let's underline that. So transfusion means something for. Trans means, I, I think we've done this one before, trans means across, to pour across, and that's actually what it means, to pour across. So when we get a transfusion, we're pouring something across into something else. That's kind of cool. So we're going to do another word that we don't actually have, because you know I love doing that. Effusive. E-F-F-U-S-I-V-E. -E. Effusive. And this means to pour out. Out. To pour out. Out. That's interesting. So when I when I when I have a transfusion, we're pouring across. If something is effusive, we're pouring it out. Interesting. Confuse is another one that is interesting. 
Um, con, oops, con, fuse. Oops, better put an E on the end there. So, confuse means pour, but confuse, how am I pouring that? It actually means to pour together. So, if I am confused, I've had too much stuff poured in to my brain, apparently. So I am confused with that information because it's all been poured into my brain. Transfusion confused. I love it. All right. So let's start on our next word. Let's go to, ooh, let's go to press. Pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Let's write that one down. Press-er. It's actually press Er. Press er. So what is pressure? Press means to, and I think you're going to be surprised on this one, to press. What? To pour, to press. So press just means to press. So pressure, actually your is interesting because it's an action word. It doesn't mean action, but it is an an action word. So it actually means, when we're looking at this, it is the action of pressing. So pressure means to pressure, to push, to press something. It is the action of pressing. All right? Now, I had somebody ask me today, what is espresso? S press o but it, it'll be interested to know that we say even though that is an s espresso sometimes we say espresso e k s p r e s s o espresso and i don't know it's a mistranslation around there somewhere but that's kind of how we say it but actually it means press and we're pressing something. And so we're actually pressing out. Pressing out. When you um, have espresso, um, you are actually pressing the, uh, the steam. We're forcing stream, steam through ground coffee beans, and that gives it an espresso. It's the steam pushing through and then dropping down, I guess. And that makes espresso. Interesting, interesting. So it's actually pressing out the flavor of those beans. Isn't that an interesting word? All right, pressure, press, we know to press. So let's get into our next one. And we're going to, I think we're going to do our next one, which would be penned, penned. Our penned actually means to hang. And I thought this was quite interesting because looking at the words that I've got for you today, we're going to start with pendulum, pendulum. And a pendulum or a pendulum is actually a, a piece of metal or something that you hang on a string all the way up and it will swing side to side. And we do pendulums for hypnotizing, but actually a pendulum swings side to side. And if you ever go to a... Um, Somewhere where they have a pendulum, it actually swings with the motion of the earth. So it's kind of cool. And so what that does is it hangs, and this right here means down. So ulam means down. Pendulum, to hang down. Hang down. So this is another interesting word because I put depend out here. And it depends what 
It means, oh, we better not put the S on there, but depend because D is an interesting word also um, because D actually means down and pend means to hang. So if you depend on someone, you're actually down hanging. And you know what? How does that work? Depend. It, you know, that was the kind of weird thing with me. So if you're, if you, it depends on something, you're down hanging. You're, you're waiting, I guess you could say. You're, it depends. You're waiting on one thing or another. You're down hanging. Not up hanging, but you're down hanging. And so if you depend on someone, I'm not sure how this fits out from down hang. You know, I wonder, you may have to come up with some thoughts on how down hang means you can depend on someone. I'm, I'm not quite sure how that, that works. But I thought that was an interesting hang down and down hang. All right, the last word, the last one we're going to do for you is purge. Purge, and purge actually means to cleanse. Cleanse, not clean, but to cleanse. So if you purge, you're actually cleansing something, okay? And it actually, do, do you see a word in here that would be a common word? Purge, pure. Do you see that? P-U-R-E means to cleanse. So purge actually means to clean. Um, in Christian beliefs, purgatory, which is our next word, purgatory, purgatory is where all the souls of those who have not died in grace must linger until they have atoned or purged of their sins. So our jail out here is called purgatory, so apparently it's there to cleanse them of what they have done wrong, and hopefully they have do right. Interesting. Interesting. So what I need you to do now is I need you to finish out all these words, Write them all in the proper places. See if you can't guess a few of these. So when I ask you, when we do our spelling words, what did you learn? I'm interested about everything below the words that I have told you. So make sure that you learn about all these words also. It'll be interesting because I don't want you to draw these arrows. I wonder if you will. I wonder if that will be a way for me to find out if you actually watched the video and listened or if you're just doing this and watching one of the pictures. All right. Okay. See you later. Have fun.